Angus from Maker's Muse recently challenged all of us to do a hashtag 3D printing on YouTube video. I wasn't around when this circulated before, so I am super excited to be able to do one now. Five questions, five answers, right here on the Edge of Tech. Question number one, when did you first hear about 3D printing? Well, actually, I first heard about 3D printing from a friend of mine uh, many years ago. He had bought a 3D printer, it was like, I don't know, twelve dollars or $1,400. He had to build the whole thing and it was, I mean, it wasn't the best quality back in that time, but it actually was really cool that he was able to make some kind of cool stuff. Then fast forward a few years and he got an Ender 3, a Creality Ender 3. And I saw it, I liked it. We decided to go to a concert. So the whole drive to this concert, which was about an hour and a half away, we talked 3D printing, we talked printers, uh, we talked about his Ender 3, which to him was so much better than the printer he had bought just a couple years ago. It printed better, it was cheaper, it was easier to use, and, and the quality was much better. So we got back from the concert, um, Black Friday hit, and I said, you know what, I'm buying a 3D printer. I jumped on the bandwagon, I grabbed a, a Creality Ender 3, which was my very first 3D printer, and uh, in the beginning of December it showed up, and the rest is history. That's how I heard about 3D printing. So I'm super glad that he had one and he showed me, he shared that with me. Because without that, without that time, none of this would exist. The, the community, the friendships I have out there, um, the, the studio, any of this stuff wouldn't exist. So thank you so much to that friend. Question number two, what was the first thing you 3D printed? Well, the first thing I 3D printed, uh, of course, was off the ST card on an under three. And it was that little cat. Uh, in the past on the CR10s, I heard it was called Decapa Cat, but it actually printed the full cat. Uh, it, and that was the very first thing. But the first thing I really printed that I, I grabbed models for and I sliced for the very first time was actually a whole bunch of parts and upgrades for the Creality Ender 3. Um, you know, I, I think I did like a, a little filament um, guide where the filament comes down into the extruder. I did the, the classic fan cover because the fan on those faced up and, and stuff could fall into it. Um, I did stuff like that and I was super excited to literally be using my 3D printer to upgrade my 3D printer. So that's the first things that I 3D printed uh, when I got my 3D printer. And I do have to say, the first things you do, you'll never forget that because you know, you're, you're watching this thing go and it's, it's burning that or melting the plastic, you know, and it's making something in front of your eyes that you didn't have before. And when that first thing gets done, when that, when that cat got done, I was so excited that something just, just worked off this printer. And then when I started getting parts to upgrade the printer, that just, it was, it was like another world just opened up before me. So I'll never forget that feeling. The very first things you 3d print question number three. Do you view 3D printing as a hobby or as a tool? And I would have to say, uh, that's a tough one. When I first started, I just got it because I thought it was really cool. And it was a hobby. I printed a bunch of upgrade parts. I printed, you know, stuff that I wanted. I printed junk. I printed, uh, you know, stuff that I saw on Thingiverse at the time, stuff like that. And it was a hobby. And then it led into um, this, this channel. And now I view 3D printers as tools. They, they're tools to help me create content and creativity and fun and, and instructional videos and stuff like that for you guys, for the audience. So while it is a really cool hobby and I do use it for fun stuff uh, sometimes, I really use it for tools now and it's a tool to get the job done, whether it's a, a a part for something I'm building or, or a tutorial for this channel, stuff like that. I, it's really a, a great tool to have in your arsenal of, of making in general. Um, you wouldn't just have a hammer in your toolbox, right? You want many, many tools to help you create something. And 3D printers are amazing tools for creativity and helping you create pretty much anything you really want. Question number four, what is the best 3D printer? <laughs> This is, the, this is a tough one. Um, so I've checked out a ton of 3D printers in the last few years. And currently, if I'm talking right now, my favorite 3D printer, um, knowing that this channel is, is really for beginners, people that are getting into 3D printing and wanna learn something and check out new reviews and stuff like that. Uh, my favorite 3D printer currently 
is the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. I say that because for $199 for the base printer, uh, you get pretty much everything in one package. It is as close to a set it and forget it printer as you're ever gonna be, especially for $199. Earlier I talked about my very first 3D printer being an Ender 3. That was $230. I'll never forget that, $230 when I bought it. And the amount of time I spent uh, tinkering and fixing and upgrading that machine to make it print the same quality as the $199 Bamboo Lab A1. It, it probably printed the same, but it took way longer, but it was crazy. There's so much time in those machines. And now uh, with the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, it's just, it, it, you put it together, you can have it printing in like 15 minutes or less, and it just works. It does everything for you. It, it has all of the calibrations. It has all the, the, the bed leveling not to mention a great slicer that is super, super easy to learn and an ecosystem around it that is, is just awesome. Uh, you can get an AMS, which allows you to print four colors and it actually recognizes the, uh, the filament that's loaded in it. So you just put the Bamboo Lab filament, if you're using Bamboo Lab filament in it, on the machine, it'll tell you you're using PLA, you're using PETG, whatever it is, right? And you select that in the slicer and you hit print. It is so easy. Uh, so for 199 bucks, definitely, in my opinion, my favorite printer right now is the A1 Mini. Uh, if you need something a little bit bigger, the A1 is just as good, it's just a little bit bigger. So the Bamboo Lab A1 and the A1 Mini are the same machines, pretty much. One's just a little bit uh, smaller build area and one has a little bit bigger build area. Um, so if you need something a little bit bigger, uh, 256 by 256 is the A1. Um, for 349, you can pick that one up. It's seriously as close to just pressing print as you can get at this point. Uh, so I definitely recommend those printers. There's a ton of great printers out there, but this asked what my favorite was. And right now that's what it is. And question number five, the last question in the series, if I could give one tip for beginners, what would it be? Um, my tip would be just just do it. Uh, you know, my tip is, is aimed at beginners or somebody that's never 3D printed before. The hardest thing to getting started is just getting started, is just buying that first printer and, and doing it. Um, going on Marketplace, looking for a printer, seeing if a friend has one, if you can afford 199 bucks, grabbing the A1 Mini, whatever it is, um, I would just say do it. There is so much fear when you're outside looking into 3D printing around what the 3D printer does. What am I gonna need to know? And also, what kind of filament do I use? And, and not only that, but like the slicer, How what do I, am I gonna need a degree to learn how to put this software on my computer? And you don't at all. You just load your filament on the printer, open your software, choose some defaults that are already there for you, and you hit print. Almost all of the printers out there now can do this. Uh, they just make it so much easier than it was even five years ago. So my tip is just get started. If you're on the outside looking in, if you're thinking about starting 3D printing uh, or getting started at all, just do it. Um, the hardest part is just, just doing it. I promise you in a month after you get your printer and start learning, you are gonna be like so far past your fears. You're gonna be printing everything you can think of all the cool stuff for your friends. And it's just such an amazing feeling, but to get there, you just have to start. So that's what I think my number one tip would be. And you know, maybe in a few years, I'll look back at this video and <laughs> it'll be different. But for now, that's what my number one tip would be. Well, there you have it. The five questions for hashtag 3D printing on YouTube and my five responses. I'm super curious what I'll look back and see in a few years and if they change. But if you can shoot me a video, uh, do that, tag me in it. I would love to see your responses as well. If you can't do a video or you don't want to, let me know in the comments below. Uh, write out the five questions and your five answers because I'm going to read every single one of them. I'm, I'm super curious to hear everybody's five responses to these pretty simple five questions. Uh, for some personal challenges, uh, I'm going to hit up Brian Vines to do a video. I would love to hear your responses. He is 
dangerously close to 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube. I think it's like 500 away as of recording this video. So Brian, let me know what your responses are to the hashtag 3D printing on YouTube questions. Uh, tag me in your video and, and let's see what they are, man. I can't wait to see your responses. Also for my second challenge, I'm gonna shoot for the moon here. I'm gonna hit Adam Savage up. Uh, Adam, I would love to know what your responses to this amazing technology of 3D printing is. I hope you see this. Uh, if it gets to you, man, I would love, and I think our whole audience would love to see your responses for the hashtag 3D printing on YouTube challenge. Also, if you haven't seen Angus's original video this year uh, from just a couple weeks ago, check out that video right here, and we'll see you next time.